today I'm going to be scrapping and tearing down this Laceco ceramic heater. I figured I'd go and show you the inside of one of these before I go and scrap it out. But what happened pretty much is the cord ended up melting to the 20 amp commercial outlet. And yes, it was on a dedicated circuit on a commercial grade outlet. So there's no reason why it should have melted. At least it wasn't out because the outlet was relatively new because I changed them out every so often and so forth. But needless to say, though, something went horribly wrong with this thing because even when I plugged it in, to the new outlet and stuff like that after about a minute of running it it trips the breaker so probably the element went out of spec or something but either way it goes i figure i'll go and tear this thing down to show you what it looks like and yes this thing's relatively new even still has the plastic on it because i only had it for about six seven months so i'm kind of shocked it failed so soon but needless to say these things are kind of junk they didn't put out that much heat anyway at least compared to my quartz heater but I'm going to tear this thing out and we'll get a closer look inside of it. Here's the model number for those that want to know what model this was. And then there's Made in China Mubo Air Heater. I mean, let me go and throw that aside there. When you do remove all the screws, which I already moved them all. But there is two security bits here. And then holding this bottom base down there, there's actually four security bits and rubber feet that go under there too that you have to remove and then you gotta remove all the regular Phillips screws on the unit pretty much and then we'll go ahead and get this back cover off pretty much okay we'll throw that aside there and you can see this is the inside of the heater as big as it looks this here is actually all the heating the electronics everything else is empty pretty much and then here's your filter, which is really not much of a filter, it's just a mesh over it pretty much. No ducking, no nothing. This is how it is inside. It's pretty much just empty plastic. Here is where I actually put the ceramic element. This is your blower, and then this is the relay, and then your electronics to control the relays to control the heater, of course. But you can see there's really not much inside one of these. So I'm going to go and take this all apart to go and show you detail view inside I guess they actually do put a dermal cut out there but I know it's on top of the plastic and plastic actually acts as a insulator pretty much so it's kind of strange that they'll put the dermal cut out on top of the plastic and not directly on the element but okay we're going to tear this all down real quick so went ahead and took all this apart cut all the wires and stuff like you get everything loosened out and I'll pretty much just go over a few of it pretty much before I go ahead and scrap it. But this here is the ceramic element. And there's actually two elements. And here's the insulator material on both of them. I'll take that out a little bit later. Here's your blower assembly. And the electronics and your dermal cutout. So I'm going to take your dermal cutout on. And it's behind this actual plastic here which acts as an insulator. So it would have to get really hot for this to probably trip. I'm not sure how many... What the temperature, there is no mark, I took this completely out, I didn't see no marking to see what temperature it would take for this to trip. Pretty much your lower assembly here, and it's just a plastic one that's pressed in there. No screws, nothing holding it in, it's just pressed on the shaft there, and then there's your motor assembly. Not much interesting there. And then here's your heating element. And you can see there, it's like a heat sink pretty much. There is the insulating material, which is this gray stuff right here. This here is the grounding. You can see pretty much how it looks. I did keep this clean. What I know happens to a lot of these is people don't blow air through these vents right here to keep them clean every once in a while. And after the season, they just go and put it away and then try to use it again and wonder why it's not putting out as much heat as it did before. And the bins inside here get clogged up with dust and stuff like that and that's what keeps it as efficient as it should be And these are self-regulating so these go high resistance when it detects it overheats and stuff like that So you have to keep these clean to work as good as they're supposed to and stuff But what happened with this particular one is this element fail here and Like I said this whole thing is only about six months old but It's as cheap as they come pretty much all plastic, no metal. That's probably the only metal thing in there. And then here's your high current control board right here. And there's your two relays and they're using two 10 amp relays. 
here's the control board that actually controls the relay board. And you can see there, not much to it pretty much. And then there's your temperature sensor. In the temperature sensor, they did put down here properly so it reads the air as it comes in, which is good. And the rest of it's just plastic shrouds and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and end up recycling this and then keeping some of the parts that I could use for projects and stuff like that. And that'll be the end of this video.